I've never read my Bible. Hearing thus says the Lord. Ooh, this is confirmation. And it doesn't even phase us at this point. I'm just sounding the trumpet. I'm just giving you the sign. Hey girl, welcome back to our weekly FaceTime call. And girl, do I have a word for you? Listen, this is not one of those words. This, this is the word that's gonna hurt you to help you. I just feel like the Lord is calling me to share this word. This is just a word that I feel like the Lord's just placed so heavy on my spirit when I tell you that girl so heavy on my spirit so this word it might mess you up but it's all out of love let's just jump right into it okay the one thing that I want to say is that despite what you see on social media despite all of the Christian content people that are drinking and being merry in this hour what the Lord has placed on my heart right now in this moment is that the Holy Spirit is grieving God himself is grieving in this hour. And I'm going to tell you why. I know there's people that are talking about the blessings of God. I know that there's people that are talking about the favor of God. I know there's people that is talking about what the Lord did for me. I know, I know all of that. And that is great glory and honor be to God. But right now in this hour, the Lord is grieving his heart. The Holy Spirit is grieving in this hour and let me tell you why we are spoiled in this day and age can I tell you we are so spoiled as a body of Christ we are so spoiled that we can get online at any given point at any given time and we can hear the word of the Lord and this is the thing that really is just grieving God in this hour is that God's word is going forth you know how the Bible says wisdom cries out in the street okay the Lord showed me a picture of this there is wisdom wisdom being cried out in the streets and we have believers we have Christians we have the people in the body of Christ who hear the word of God who hear the unadulterated truth who hear actually thus says the Lord and they get in the comments and they say oh that was a word for me oh that was a good word oh this is confirmation and they hear the word of God and guess what they do they continue and they scroll and so what is grieving God in this hour is that we are heaping up for ourselves confirmations we are heaping up for ourselves thus says the Lord we are heaping up for ourselves words that are encouraging words that make us feel good words that make us that invoke emotion out of us words that bring us to tears what is happening is we are are sitting under sound wisdom we are sitting under the word of the lord and we hear sermon after sermon we hear word after word we get confirmation after confirmation and we continue to scroll it's like a flick of a scroll and we continue to be on this hunt for thus says the word of god thus says the lord and we're constantly searching after confirmations and this is grieving the holy spirit because we have become hearers of the word and not yet doers of the word and I'm gonna give you a scripture to back this up girl when I tell you this word that I feel so burdened in my heart is not gonna make you hoop and holler but it is a word that is necessary for this day and age the Holy Spirit do not be fooled the Holy Spirit is grieving he is crying out to his bride he is crying out to the body of Christ he is crying out he is is flashing when you hear them good words of the Lord that is the Lord flashing the signal he is calling out to you he is saying that at that moment come spend time with me come back unto me he is calling you back unto him and so many of us are hearing the word of the Lord and yet we just flick our wrists and yet we just move our thumb and yet we just keep scrolling and yet we say "Ooh, this is a good word and don't actually move and don't actually change and don't actually turn and don't actually repent and don't actually change anything in our heart don't actually change our life don't actually do anything we just hear the word of God we just hear his sound wisdom we just hear the unadulterated truth and it doesn't even phase us at this point James chapter 1 I'm gonna start at verse 20 one it says wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls 
okay verse 22 but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves we have a body we have a a large amount of christians who are sitting under sound teaching sound theology i'm not talking about the christians who are sitting under false preachers i'm not talking about the false prophets i'm talking about people who are actually hearing the word of god hearing thus says the lord and yet they are not moved and yet they are not grieved and yet their heart is far away from god and yet their heart is so cold and so hardened when you hear the word of the Lord it should move you not just to tears but it should move you to do things differently in your life to not only be a hearer of the word but a doer of the word and what does it say for if you're a hearer of the word you are deceiving your own self I'm telling you right now this is one of those words that is heavy okay but see the Lord is sending he's sounding the alarms he is sounding the wisdom is crying out in the streets it is crying out no longer no longer can we just hear the word of the lord no longer can we just hear thus says the lord and not do anything and not change and not turn and not go running unto our savior i'm telling you the lord is speaking in this hour and we cannot just allow it to fall on deaf ears he that has ears let him hear the word of the lord we cannot just how long how long says the lord will you just hear my words and not be a doer of my word how long will you sit under preachers and pastors and prophets and teaching and hear the word of the lord and not do anything and not turn and not repent and not move and not take action says the lord how long and see here's the thing i don't want to get into legalism i don't want because see this is why god says in deceiving your own self see some of us are putting the blame on the enemy but the enemy knows that he does not even have to do anything he does not even have to send attacks after you because he knows that you are so comfortable hearing the word of the lord and yet not doing anything not doing the word of the Lord you are deceiving your own self if you just think that there is just the abundance of grace that you can just walk into see some of us don't even know what grace actually is some of us just don't even know the true meaning of grace because if you knew the true meaning of grace you would have an abundant amount of grace to give to your brother or sister in Christ you would give people grace abundantly when you understand what God means about grace you wouldn't take it all and heap it for yourself but yet you would extend that same grace that Christ has given you to others so we cannot just deceive ourselves and be stuck in our wicked ways see Jeremiah says the heart is deceitfully wicked this generation is deceitfully wicked and the Holy Spirit is grieved do not be deceived do not deceive yourself and think that we are not grieving the Holy Spirit with our actions that we are not grieving the Holy Spirit in our thoughts life that we are not grieving the Holy Spirit because we will not be doers of the word and you might be thinking well I've never read my Bible I don't know what the word says it's what you do with the word that you already know while you're on the way of learning more do the word that you already know if you only know Psalms 23 the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want do that what does it mean to have the Lord as your shepherd let us be in the spirit of doing the word of God when the Lord began to give me access to his heart when he began to open the door I was overwhelmed with grief my heart just felt heavy I just started crying out to the Lord oh and you'll have to forgive if the lighting keeps changing in here it's because girl the sun keeps going in and out of the clouds but I know this is not a message that people hoop and holler about I know but I'm telling you if you just let it resonate with your spirit if you just feel anything in your spirit if you feel a tugging if you feel a conviction in your spirit trust and believe that that is the Holy Spirit wooing you back unto him 
calling you, crying out. He's sending every sort of person crying out to you, saying, daughter, saying, son, will you just come unto me? There's some things that I want to show you. There's some things that I want to tell you. There's some mysteries that I want to reveal to you. There's some things that I want to heal in you. There's some things that I want to restore in you. I want to restore you back unto me. You belong to me, says the Lord. You belong to me. And you're so far away, daughter. You're so far away. I have my open arms, outstretched arms, waiting and wooing you and drawing you unto me, drawing you back unto me where you belong, where I can restore, where I can heal, where I can redeem. Oh my goodness, I just feel this so strongly in my spirit. I know this is not a message that people just hoop and holler about, but when you understand, when you have spiritual ears to hear and you understand, and the Lord allows things to be revealed in your spirit. I'm telling you, you can only praise God on this type of message. You can only praise the Lord. You can only thank God that he wants to redeem you back unto him. Thank God that he wants to bring you into his secret place. Thank God that he wants to hide you in his wings, that he wants to meet with you in the secret place. That's all you can do. When you truly understand that the Lord, he's grieving because he doesn't want to be separate from you. He doesn't want there to be distance between you and him when you understand that and that's the main reason why his heart is grieving why he's crying out in the streets why he's screaming and he's saying daughter come unto me son come unto me come home I desire there to be no distance who can separate us from the love of Christ I desire for you not to be so far away from me I am grieved I'm crying out because I want to be close to you I'm crying out. The Holy Spirit is grieving in this hour. He desires to redeem the body. He desires to restore his bride. No longer can we just be a hearer of the word. We must transition into being a doer of the word. And if you don't know what the word says, start with one verse and start doing what it says. I don't know how this video is going to turn out because the lighting was doing all kinds of crazy things throughout the video. So I apologize for all of that. So that is my cry. I don't want you to just be a vain Christian. I don't want you to just be the Christian because it seems like the cool thing to do. I don't want you to just just get into this religion mindset, but we have to be not only hearers of the word, but actually doers of the word, not only because it is pleasing to our Lord and Savior, but it is also pleasing to our soul. It also produces fruit in our life. So I don't know, girl, I'm just sounding the trumpet. I'm just giving you the sign, pointing you back to Jesus. That's all I can do. So anyways, um, I pray that you found this message. I know it was kind of heavy, but I pray this invokes something in you to take action with your faith. And so uh, as always, I'm going to be praying for you, girl. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. And I will see you in my next video.